Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tuesday, June 29th, 2021 edition of the Day Weather Podcast. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel. Weather extremes persist across much of the Intermountain West. It involves a chaotic weather pattern with several different ridges and troughs for the next few days. And we still have our temperature extremes. Mild conditions along and east of the Continental Divide and into the High Plains still hot over the western states. Showers and thunderstorms will primarily be confined over sections of Colorado, New Mexico, and the southern states today through tonight, but those chances will be spreading north to sections of mainly southern Wyoming and Nebraska starting tomorrow, continuing the rest of the week, continuing to spread northward as we approach the holiday weekend. In the meantime, that strong, stifling, high-pressure ridge in the west will be slowly working eastward. This is the 500 millibar map of upper-level winds in the atmosphere as of 6 o'clock this morning. We still have an eastern Pacific ridge over the waters, an eastern Pacific trough right along the west coast, and that's kept our Omega block in place today with the Canadian trough that's been in place since the weekend starting to erode and losing definition over the central and southern states. Meanwhile, over the eastern seaboard, we still have this east coast ridge that will be slowly working its way westward. This is in comparison to yesterday's map. Not a whole lot of change. The Canadian trough was a little more defined with these ridges pretty much stationary since yesterday. That'll keep uh, precip chances mainly over the four corners in the southern states as of uh, 6 o'clock. And uh, actually, this is through midweek uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. with showers and thunderstorms predominantly over the mountain areas. May try to sneak in over far southern Wyoming, the snowy and Sierra Madres and the southern Laramie Range. Otherwise, looking at dry and mild conditions over the high plains and continued extremely hot in the west. This is the main weather story across much of the west coast. Stifling, oppressive, even dangerous heat going on for those especially uh, not uh, used to these hot weather conditions, especially in Oregon and Washington. As you can see, potential forecast at high temps as of this afternoon 111 to 119 over Washington, 90s in a blend of the 100s over the rest of Oregon, California, Nevada, and Arizona. Meanwhile, back here closer to home over Wyoming, Colorado, the Dakotas, still mild, predominantly 70s with some 80s mixed in, and that'll be the story likely through tomorrow as well. This is uh, today's temperature anomaly map, departures from normal, uh, still running 30 plus degrees above average over the Pacific Northwest, and still running teens and 20s below average over the front range, central Rockies, and central and southern United States. Here's tomorrow's forecast and temperature map. Really not a whole lot of change. We are going to start to see some warmer conditions over Montana and some more 80-degree readings spreading over the central and northern high plains. And here in the Wyoming and Colorado mountain regions, going to see temps approach the upper 70s and low 80s. Temperature anomaly map for tomorrow, much like today, running well above average in the northwest, below average in the central and the south. Now let's look ahead towards the end of the week and heading into the holiday weekend. That upper level ridge does shift eastward with a larger scale pattern change over much of the continental United States. This high pressure ridge spreading over the northern high plains and into the southern states with another ridge pattern. In fact, it's the one pretty much over the east coast today. It'll be retrograding westward and setting up over the four corners. That will allow for a fairly consistent and persistent upper trough to develop over the Great Lakes and uh, Appalachian Range, and that's going to make things a little more active come Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And as you can see, these wind barbs represent light winds aloft, and this will be a contributor to any shower and thunderstorm chances could see some localized areas of heavier showers that develop, especially Wednesday night into Thursday across the Colorado Front Range. This is a moisture map, relative humidity at 500 millibars as of Friday afternoon. You can see that southerly uh, moisture flow transporting northward behind that ridge pattern that shifts into the high plains with more southwesterly winds coming over the Rockies and the Inner Mountain West. This is a potential precip map through the 4th of July once again. This is 6 o'clock on Sunday, and it's pretty similar to what we showed yesterday. We still have some potential heavy rainfall amounts over the central and northern Texas plains, including the Panhandle, as well as central and eastern New Mexico. It has backed off on the precip totals some, but we're still looking at potential heavier amounts 
through the holiday weekend, and some of that could be spreading northward over the Colorado Front Range and northwestern Kansas. I want to bring your attention a little bit to southern and southeast Wyoming and the Nebraska Panhandle. These precip amounts through the holiday weekend, on the map at least, don't look overly impressive. But, as I mentioned with those light winds aloft, that will develop later on this week with that pattern shift. Uh, the model could potentially be underdoing some precip amounts over the plains with light winds aloft keeping uh, thunderstorm development nearly stationary or slow moving. That usually means if showers and thunder can develop, could see some localized areas of heavier rainfall that are not represented necessarily with this map through the holiday weekend. Don't forget to subscribe to the Day Weather Video YouTube channel. And as always, thank you for listening and watching. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.